have you had problems with your Joy-Con? We all know that there are some connectivity issues or desyncing, whatever you want to call them, weak signals, um, as it were. Uh, Sean Hollister reports that he sent his Joy-Con in to Nintendo and they sent it back fixed. So it seems like Nintendo is well aware of how to fix the problem so if you are having a lot of trouble with your joy con you can absolutely set them in and it seems like nintendo is taking care of you so uh, for a little bit of context um sean took some uh, pictures of the inside of his joy con before and after he sent it in and uh, something interesting appeared here so this is the inside of it before he sent it in all right now this is after I put them one on top of the other, and if you don't notice the difference, it is on the bottom uh, right. You see like a little black foam thing. That is the only difference inside the Joy-Con uh, post-repair from Nintendo. Um, so to quote uh, what the article on CNET here says, uh, I spoke to Bill Detwiller, managing editor uh, for our sister site Tech Republic, and he explained that it's likely a piece of conductive foam, which is foam that has been specially treated with nickel, copper or both so that it can shield the electronics from um, RF interference. Uh, it's often used in portable electronics when there isn't space for an, a traditional shield. So yeah, uh, apparently this little foam thing is what <laughs> fixed the Joy-Con. Uh, he also said that he ended up just buying a different Joy-Con on Amazon and that worked as well. So maybe Nintendo already addressed this whole Joy-Con issue and anything you know post-launch uh, as far as Joy-Con that they manufacture are probably okay. Um, apparently some of the like numbers inside of the board uh, were different from the new Joy-Con that he purchased separately on Amazon. Uh, Nintendo isn't like really confirming any of this stuff. Um, it's just, you know, Sean Hollister from CNET uh, doing his research and uh, letting us know that, hey, yeah, I sent my Joy-Con in for repair. They sent it back. It works perfectly now. And now there's this little like foam thing down there. Uh, I'm not saying that if your Joy-Con is messed up, open it up and, and put foam and you're good. That is not what we're saying at all. Um, if you are having trouble with your Joy-Con, contact Nintendo, send it in. Uh, they have a quote uh, later here where they say, um, the to quote Nintendo here, they say, the total number of, repl of repair or replacement requests for a Nintendo Switch, including Joy-Con, is consistent with what we've seen from any new Nint uh, hardware Nintendo has launched. So this isn't like some crazy three red lights or, or yellow light um, issue like other consoles have had. Um, Nintendo is saying, hey, the amount of hardware that we have that is faulty, it's perfectly lined up with, you know, other hardware that we've had. This isn't some crazy widespread thing. But if you are having an issue, reach out to Nintendo, see if they could get it fixed. And it seems like the fix is relatively easy on Nintendo's part. Um, it took them about a week to get the Joy-Con back, a little bit over a week. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But at least we know that the problem can be fixed. Um, and, you know, the bad news is this will not be fixed with a um, firmware update. So if you thought that... Um, hey, they're going to you know patch it and it'll be fine. That's not happening. It's a hardware issue. So now that we have a little bit more cl uh, clarity on that, let us know if you've had problems with your Joy-Con in the comments below and uh, let us know if you're sending it into Nintendo. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be told exactly when we are uploading new videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy our content. We love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. And uh, that's it. My name has been Gabe. Switch Force out.